I don't think they're going to do hand warmers. I don't, do you think they're going to do hand warmers? Mr. Uh, Kiff Mofat? What was that now? Do you think they're going to do hand warmers? Um, I am not sure, uh, but they are. Um, this is round two. Well, technically round one. Yeah, because... Yes. Technically round two, but also technically round one. Yeah. Of uh, top 32 right now. Right. And uh, winner of this makes it into top 16. Yep. Plays tomorrow. They don't have to play anymore today. Loser has to play at least one more set, I believe. Yeah, I think we're going to uh, run all the way through to, to top 16 on the stream on this stream tonight. Ooh, awesome. Yeah, so um, after this, then we're going to have uh, Foos Jr. versus Chevy. Then we're going to have uh, Dr. Z versus uh, Loser of You, which is this, this match. match. Wow. Right, and then uh, Big D versus Keith. Ooh. It's going to be great. That's going to be a good set. But yeah, right. right in the match, we get a strike to FD, which uh, I'm surprised the Prime didn't ban this. This is kind of famously not a good stage for Samus. Yeah, it's it's a weird stage. Uh, and, I mean, like, it's a weird stage. It's a weird matchup. It's, it's yeah. weird for the matchup, but the matchup is weird itself no matter what stage you go to. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, interesting uh, power shot there. I wasn't sure that's what he meant to do, but... Edge guard situation not necessarily gonna stay that way. Oh, expertly dodged that turnip. <laughs> All right, Kip's gonna Mofat's gonna move off the mic for a minute here. Gonna do some solo commentary. Oh, I thought that was a stitch face. This matchup seems like it can turn around really fast. I'm not super familiar with. Wow. Okay. That killed. Uh, you don't see. Oh, that's a stitch face. <laughs> he has a stitch face. This is gonna be rough. If, if he uses stitch face effectively. What? I think it's just. All right, joining me on commentary is the legend himself, Chip. Hey guys, how's it going, dude? I'm good. All right, so um, Samus, Peach, um, the Prime and Bladewise. I gave uh, the Prime some advice before he entered this set. I just told him to make sure to not play Teddy's game and to make and just concentrate on spacing. So yeah. I feel like this matchup is, um, it's like one of those few matchups in Melee where I feel like it's, it's doesn't display what Melee's kind of known for with the sick combos, crazy things. It's more like, it's kind of closer to Brawl, right? Yeah, like absolutely. Spacing, you know, minimal hits, stray hits here and there. Not too, like strings and stuff, but not solid combos. It's more like a, it's a mind game battle, you know? Right. And we're, I think we're seeing this, Bladewise's flow game is so good. You see how he like goes in and out like that with the zoning? One more set, one or this. Bates out all of the, uh, the loser of this set for Sasha Z. That's wrong. Uh, nice four. Fourth, fourth throw is going to do it. But uh, I think the Prime might have some good warm up for this matchup because in the uh, winner's finals of his pool, he played Keith. Keith oh, did he? Yeah. Keith's really solid. Yeah. I was playing him in friendlies last night in, uh, at our vicious place. Uh, okay, Blade Wise. Dude, he is the king of like cheesy, hard read combos, and you just feel like the biggest dummy when you get oh hit by god. it. But truthfully, it's it's very oh. skilled. Oh my gosh, he and that's a KO, like dude. A pixel this away. was super close. This was super close this not too close long like ago. Probably 20 seconds ago. Yeah, about like 20 seconds ago. And then Bladewise just found like, a couple hard reads. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of like like what you have to do in this matchup. If you want to get like really uh, long strings, you got to go for hard reads. Bladewise knows that some <laughs> seem a little cheesy, but they work because oh he knows. Okay, let's see what the Prime can do. He has center stage here, but he's down by two stocks. Teddy, oh no. And That's not a trade you want to take right there. Bladewise can't be unfamiliar with this matchup. Mm -hmm. He's played for so long, and Andy also has been playing for um, a long time. Yeah, and I believe Bladewise convincingly defeated Hugs at PAX. Yeah, that's convincingly. right. Convincingly. I remember. I, I watched that, and I oh think a couple. God. I think one of the matches was a three stock, if I'm not Jeez. mistaken. Okay, so the Prime... Um, Takes out stock. Oh, oh no. no, that hurts so much. Earlier this match, uh, Teddy pulled a stitch, but I don't think oh, really? he did anything with it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Uh, oh wow, that was super safe. He landed back on the edge. That was uh, cool. That was good. Yeah. Okay, this is hard though. 
Oh, oh good like spacing that on that there. forward. Drifted back. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what Andy... Okay, I think he's really concentrating now. You can tell. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see what Bla how Blade Wise will respond. That was respond. interesting. The missile didn't blow up on the turn up at all. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's almost a KO. That was actually a hard read. Oh, the homies out. Mr. Sa <laughs> Mr. Saturn is so good, dude. Oh, he almost SDI'd out of that, I feel like. Okay, the one good thing... Uh, the Prime has here is that he's heavy, he's Samus, he's not gonna die quite yet unless, uh... Oh my god. I think 20 more percent in a fourth throw will kill, I think. Oh, oh no. that was nice. smart, that wow. was really smart. Cool. The other thing is, he's still a stock behind. Yeah, that's the other big thing. I mean, but he got a really good sequence earlier on this stock in particular. If he can do that again, it's possible. But it's not looking oh my too God. bright. Bladewise is all over him right now. That was a really clever. Recovery. Oh my that, gosh! That flow cancel down air turn around grab forward throw. Is that what that was? In the other direction. Yeah, he was so fast. That was dope. Wow. Bladewise is so good, man. Bladewise is all about <laughs> making you play his game. Yeah, absolutely. He's he's so about that. Um, and I think. That's like one of his greatest strengths, but one of his greatest weaknesses too. Because once you start not playing his game, but making him play your game, he kind of scrambles a little bit. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, I wait a second. That. Wait a second. What do I do here? You know. But here he's doing a great job. Of okay, twenty nine percent. Like that was that was solid. Yeah. Just a couple hits. In the sets where uh, good dash dancing by Prime. Sorry to interrupt yes, you. Go it's ahead. Okay. In the sets where Bladewise beats uh, Silent Wolf, mm -hmm. it seems like Silent Wolf is being really impatient mm -hmm. and just like letting Bladewise control the match. And it, they're really frustrating, it seems like, oh, that was a good grab. So yeah. hopefully we'll see. And you know, yeah, and I think it's just that. like little things like that, like not having enough patience that'll determine like a set between two titans, like Bladewise yeah. and Silent Wolf. Exactly. Win. Yeah. Um, like obviously Fox wins the matchup, you know, as they say. Um, so Otto always has that advantage, but yeah. Anyway, back to this set. Um, yeah. Okay, so Prime isn't in a bad position once again, but. They've been playing this really slow game of straight hits and stuff, but it's always been favorable to Bladewise. I don't know how this matchup is objectively classified as. I think it's Peach's favor. Um, I would assume. And it just seems like she can throw out like, uh, aerials a lot better in the zoning game, in neutral, better than Samus can. It seems like turnips are, uh, are more efficient than missiles. They're less linear, so you can do more with them yeah. than uh, missiles and whatnot. That was interesting. I feel like in ledge situations like this, Andy has been really safe on getting back to the ledge and very methodical and careful about his decision. I, that was so good. Yeah, that oh, was really my good. God. Uh, going off that, I will. I have to compliment uh, the Prime's ability to maintain patience. Yeah. That's super important in a Peach matchup, yeah. especially against Bladewise. Oh, good backer. Good, and he ties it up. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, Bladewise is so patient, and the Prime is doing an excellent job of, of, of being patient. Ooh, wow. He held down. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh my god. It's still, like, I feel like that amount of percent isn't as big in this matchup as it is. It isn't. In, in, it's like, like opposed to Fox or Falcon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But still, oh, you know. Good up tilt. Oh Ooh. my god. Bladewise is probably pretty happy that didn't hit. Oh, oh no. Okay, that the, sucks. the Andy, or the Andy, the Prime, the Prime. says, okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh, all right. That was cool. I see you, Andy. I've yeah. seen Daryl do stuff like that. Yeah, I, I've seen stuff like that before. It's always cool to see, though. Like, when they're in there, she'll jump, uh, bomb, the down air. I think that's what that was. He just cleverly, oh no. He, did, he, he used, um, he threw out a bunch of missiles and then charged the shot a little bit. I think it was to bait Teddy into approaching, mm. but I'm not sure. That yeah. might have been it. Super that didn't work out, but, you know. Yeah, the Prime has to play like this is the set of his life if he really wants to make this yeah, happen. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's not, he's not doing any worse than, you know, hugs at wow. packs, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like he's necessarily playing bad. It's just small mistakes and yeah. huge capitalizations from Teddy. Absolutely. Playwise. Absolutely. Bladewise is really capitalizing. Ooh. Honestly, I think it's because Bladewise plays so oh many other God. Smash games. No! Oh, not like that. <laughs> Bladewise shakes his head with a smirk. Yeah, I think Blade was no. Oh, now he's getting impatient. He's getting really oh, my bad. It's okay. Um, and I was gonna say though, I think Blade Wise, since he plays so many other Smash games like Smash Four, and he played Brawl too. I think like that established a lot of patience in his repertoire yeah, as a Smash true. player. I think for sure. I think that's carried over in, in Melee in the best way. Oh, oh my God. What? My favorite thing to do on the windmill is 
Falcon can do this like forward smash thing where he flies up if you cancel it. Oh really? It's, it's really cool. Silent Spectre does it. It's neat. Using oh, those okay. Uppies, and he's that's trying to... uh interesting choice. Yeah, and he needs to Okay, okay. The time is not out of this. The it times just... that he landed those energy shots was when he like he sort of forced blade wise. He shoots a missile there. on the ground first right. and then he jumps and right. shoots a charge exactly. shot, right? Yeah. I think that's a better setup. Yeah. It, it reduces the opponent's options to more like nothing. Taking a shield hit compared to this is oh, looking so a little bit. Set, I probably got upstairs, but okay. We'll see. Are you in the melee games? Uh, no, top 16. Oh, okay. Well, good luck. Thank you, dude. I don't think I play again until tomorrow. But... Oh, okay. Okay, so let's finish this match here first. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. This is rough. He's down a whole stock, um, even more than a whole stock, technically. Oh no! Yeah, that's Ugh. it. Did you know that Peach's up smash is actually stronger than Fox's until a certain percent? The sweet spot of the up smash. Wait, really? Yeah, it hits. Wait, it what do you mean past a certain percent? At a certain percent.